Everyone is very excited to see what Covestro is bringing to the K2019 and I know you've managed to kind of put together digital and sustainability. What are you bringing? Well, there's a few topics in this. First and foremost, I'm super excited that we have those really big, big topics here. The mega trends, if you want to say so, sustainability and innovation, because they're both interlinked. And what we are bringing here, we're looking at the entire value chain of the chemical industry to drive sustainability, be it alternative raw materials, um, high effective and efficient materials for wind turbine blades to make windmill energy or wind turbine energy more cost effective, or talking about circular economy. That means what we're doing at the end of the lifetime with our materials and here is exactly where digitalization plays a key role because this complexity you can only um, help to evolve uh, via digitalization and using artificial intelligence and that's why we're here and that's why I'm so excited. These topics are not new but it seems that they have really speeded up in the past couple of years since 2016. Um, it's the topic and you cannot get around sustainability. How are you dealing with this topic as a company or have you always been thinking about it? We have always thought about it and we also have dealt with it and we proactively moved forward. We have very clear targets, for example, about our specific carbon dioxide emission reduction, which is based on 2005 figures, 50% uh, specific reduction of CO2 until 225. And we have come a long way with 40% already being achieved. We talk about alternative raw materials and we have just three years ago uh, had the first pilot plant being set up that used instead of crude oil, carbon dioxide as a raw material and we're using further materials that uh, actually can replace oil. These are just a few topics about how committed we are in terms of sustainability already for many, many years. Let's say the image of um, plastics and rubber is not so good. Is that, um, does that make human resources difficult? Do you have to kind of talk people into coming into your company or is that not a problem at all? I think plastics has been made the scapegoat. So plastics for me is not the problem. Plastics is part of the solution. What the problem is, is waste management. That's what we have to deal with. We have to educate people. We have to make people understand that plastics and also other waste is a very, very valuable resource. And that's what we have to go for for and here plastics is part of the solution and that's why we don't have issues in hiring the best people that are around in our industry because we have a very clear purpose which is to make the world a brighter place we have a very clear positioning that we say we drive sustainability and we want to be fossil free and also we want to be renew renewable with what we do so we see uh, ourselves as part of a circular economy Minus 10% is kind of hanging in the room. Um, uh, the industry is not doing so well. It depends on how you see it. How do you see that, the perspective? Well, it is a challenging environment this year and I think we are in a transition period and we have given very clear guidance to the capital market where we see the results for this year and they're lower than they have been last year for sure. On the other hand, we are growing quite nicely in the respective areas where we are. We see mid to long term growth in the markets where we are active and exactly the materials that we are focusing on are there to help the human mankind needs, which is more energy effectiveness, uh, energy effective and more sustainable mobility, but also better living for example in terms of medical devices and as I said solving the big topic of circular economy and managing waste streams that's where we are and I think this gives also the industry despite some challenges that you have always in circular economies and also circular business and um, um, some some opportunities